before something's done. But they have. Calls for change are getting louder after another deadly incident at an east side intersection. At five, two fatal crashes in less than a month happened within feet of each other. Neighbors on Indy's east side are now calling for a solution. Yeah, WRTV's Adam Shumes went back to 30th and Massachusetts and asked a city county councilor to meet him there to take a closer look. Uh, Horrifically dangerous. Melinda Harrett is talking about this intersection near 30th and Massachusetts Avenue on Indy's east side. Nobody should have to die. Nobody should have to before something's done, but they have. Police say at least three people have been killed here in more than two years. Most recently, police say 20-year-old DeAndre Pirtle was killed on Saturday. His car crashed into a parked semi-truck near the intersection. Detectives believe Pirtle was speeding at the time of the crash. He just deserves justice, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't deserve this. His family doesn't deserve this. That's the family of Ivan Castro, who on July 12th, police say was killed in a hit and run. Surveillance video captured the moment the collision happened. The silver Chrysler pulls out in front of Castro's car seconds before the crash. I set one of my cameras up facing this intersection right here just to catch the wrecks, and there's probably a, at least a wreck a week. There have been near misses. Days after the deadly hit and run, Will Woodrow's cameras recorded another car running through the intersection and crashing into the grassy medium. There's no stop here on uh, mass, and people just fly around this corner, and then people are jumping to get out of this uh, left turn here. Woodrow and many others are calling for a stoplight or other measures to slow traffic in the area. The fact of the matter is people just driving too fast all over the city. Councilman Ron Gibson represents the people of this area. He says it will take a concentrated effort to cut down on the number of wrecks. In the meantime, neighbors hope people slow down so no one else loses their life. Save Indianapolis, help the lives, help the family of everybody here. I mean, it's ridiculous. In Indianapolis, a stoplight could save some lives, you know. Adam Shumes, WRTV. And what's more, the Indianapolis Department of Public Works conducted a traffic study of the area within the past year. It found nearly 11,000 people drive through there each day.